Hello, welcome to my channel, and today I'm gonna to be telling you about what we spend in about a two-week period as a family of six. I've seen a lot of um, posts about budgets and things like that, and I'm always wondering, well, what should my budget be for food, or what do ac people actually spend? For almost four years now, I have been recording every single expense that goes through the house just to see where all our money's been going because it seems like we are always out of uh, money. And it did help. After one year of doing it, I did an audit on it and I found out some areas that I would, did not know that we were doing uh, so much of. And so just to be transparent with you, I have been continuing to do it because I enjoy doing it. I enjoy seeing what's going out and what's going in. We have everything in a budget. It helps us make our budget every month. And we've had a lot of mistakes along the way. And so this is kind of what we settled on as all of our budget items. First, I'm going to tell you everything that we spent in about the last two weeks. Um, starting with, uh, I started this on 8-8, so August 8th, and that will be this first page. I don't do every date for every one. And then this next page I'll do, we'll start on 8-12. So 8-8, 8-12, and then the next one is 8-21. So 8-8 to 8-21, yeah, that's about, that's about two weeks, so that's great. So first thing is $9.74. My wife has a subscription, a monthly subscription that gets sent to the house and that's a personal expense for her. We spent $161.78 at our energy company for our duplex. So that includes the lights and everything that is energy over there and that is a business write-off. We spend $57.60 on gas. We are on a road trip. A lot of these are gonna be gas, so be prepared for that. <laughs> but we make a monthly budget every month and so that month we put a lot of extra into gas. We still went way over. So the next month we had to, again, put a lot into our gas budget, which unfortunately we have to re-register the cars as soon as we get back. So we're gonna be continuing to use it and get an oil change because we put so many miles on the car. Went to a coffee shop and spent $5.25 out of the grocery budget and the tip was $2. Uh, we went to a rainbow fish farm, uh, trout fishing in Oregon. And my uncle paid for the fish, but we ended up doing a tip of $8 cash, and we put that on there. We pay a mortgage on the duplex every month, um, which is $2,557.73. That does change over time as the taxes go up or down. They seem to really pad our escrow fund, and so unfortunately, um, it's been much higher in the past, and it's probably still should come down a little bit because our escrow fund is way overfunded. Um, but that basically takes away all of our profit from our Airbnb and our long-term renter over there. And next is the city of Waco where we paid $207.90. That's for our utilities on this house here. Next we paid our cleaner at the duplex. That was $120. That's for the week. We pay once a week. Um, and it's different every week for how many cleans they do. Uh, we re-upped our Zoom membership for $85, it's a family expense. Then we were on a trip and we stayed at Airbnbs a couple times along the way. We consider those business expenses because we learn a ton while we're there. It makes our Airbnb, our Airbnb much better. And so we're going to write off $263.93 at the first one and $307.60 at the second one. Uh, we went to a gas station and bought a few things inside the gas station on our road trip for $3.98. Then we bought gas for $42.27. We went to another coffee shop, same, same company, just different place, uh, Dutch Bros, which is great, and spent $15 there on the grocery budget and tipped $3. Then we went to another gas station and paid $54.03 for gas. We, uh, I have to do my monthly dues just to keep my real estate license active, and so I paid $100 right off for that. Uh, that is a business expense. Uh, Amazon Plus, we had to pay uh, $10.65 for that. I believe that's the kids' tablets for free time so that they can uh, have some extra games on there and music. Oh, it's, for their, um, it's also for their Amazon Echoes and things like that. Went to Carl's Jr. and bought two meals there, um, a lunch and a dinner all at the same time. It was $45.29, including some other things we had in the car. It was, it was enough food for two meals. Then we went to a gas station and paid $1.06, just $1.06. Probably got some water there or a coffee for my wife. Then we went to another gas station and paid $48.60 uh, on gas. And then at that same gas station, my son went in, uh, Theo, and spent $6, and my daughter Greta went in and paid $5 for personal things that they wanted for the road trip. 
and they had a lot of save money or spend money, sorry, saved up for this trip, um, specifically for gas stations and for going to the aquarium, which we're going to go to later. Next, we went to another, we, we, we went back to a place called Thai Tip, which is a great restaurant in Albuquerque. We really liked it a lot, and we spent $55.01 in groceries uh, bill, and then we paid $10 a tip there. We went to Target and bought $10.16 worth of things that we needed from Target for the road trip, and then we had to go back through and spend fourteen oh one because we just got Lunchables for the kids for dinner that night. Then we went to another gas station and paid $27.77 in in gas and $1.83 in grocery budget. And Greta spent $2 at that gas station of her spend money and Theo spent $2 in cash of his spend money as there as well. Now we're on 8-12 or August 12th and we went to Love's which is a gas station and uh, spent $2.96 on gas or sorry on groceries and then we spent at Allsup's we spent $24.13. Sometimes we just had to stop at gas stations just to go to the bathroom even though we didn't need to uh, get gas and so that's why there's some extra gas station trips in here without gas. But we did go to Allsup's after that and spent $24.13 on gas. I, sp I paid for my um, Lake Waco Golf Club membership uh, for $123.25. I did get $15 of that refunded to me because I returned the glove that I bought, ended up buying some nice gloves at Costco um, that just work a lot better for me. Then we went to Amazon.com uh, and paid uh, $242.83 for a family purchases, just a bunch of stuff we needed, especially for the kids for school. Uh, they're homeschooled right now, um, and we buy a lot of material for them here. We went to the uh, Dallas Aquarium, and Theo spent $15 of his spend money and Greta spent $16 cash of her spend money. They each got some really cute stuffed animals from the gift shop. Then we spent $10 as family money and $119.89 for the to get in as family money as the admission. Costco, we spent uh, $34. I spent $34 of my own personal fund. And then the groceries were $1,089.50, which is a lot more than... We normally spend, but it's okay because we were just gone for two weeks and we completely cleaned out the house. Um, and Stripes a gas station, we paid $51 for the car. And I need to check that Costco actually to make sure they got our hot dogs and everything on there. I think I probably added it together, but um, in fact, yeah, I, I know I did. So anyway, I won't check it. Um, and then we have a uh, Patreon. We spent one dollar uh, a month. Actually, it's up to two now. There's some podcasts that we support uh, that help us with our business, and so they are business expense and educational materials. Uh, we went to Walmart and supplemented what we got at Costco, and we spent seventy-seven dollars and six cents on the grocery budget, and we bought something for somebody else for ten dollars and seventy-nine cents. So we consider that donation money. Um, I'm part of a um, uh, a group that is a business group that um, I write off $9.95 a month, and so that is coming out of my work money. Uh, we spent another $180 that week on cleaning for the duplex and the Airbnb there. I spent $26.66 on a bunch of food <clears throat> out of my personal money when I went out with some guys to Rudy's. I bought some food for other people, and it was a lot of fun. Um, then we paid $545 for Samaritan Ministries, which is kind of like insurance, but kind of not. It's Christian um, healthcare. So anyway, you, you send money to somebody else, and then when you have a need, they send money to you. And it's worked out really well for us for about four or five years now. Um, my wife got an Audible subscription for $16.18. That came out of her personal money. We went to USPS for $11.10, and we sent something to somebody else as a gift. So we consider that donation. Uh, PetSmart family budget of $4.16. Family at the uh, homeschool uh, group that we're part of, $35.50. We're hoping to get that refunded. Um, my wife won some sort of raffle that was supposed to give her a free membership. Uh, then next is uh, Disney. We spent $8.79 there a month. Uh, that's for the kids to have the Disney channels and me. Sometimes I watch those too. Uh, that's streaming. Um, Spectrum, Internet, um, 
I write that off as a work expense because I work from home and I'm self-employed for the most part or for part of it. I have a job and then I'm self-employed for part of it. But anyway, $85 and 12 cents. Uh, another gas station, but this one I had to get a bunch of gas for, for the mower and other things for work. And so it was 35.22. I wrote that off as a business expense. One time in the year, I just get gas for the, for work. And then uh, Walmart Theo spent $4 of his spend money uh, on a date that we went on together. And then uh, we, I went to Walmart as well and spent 63.67. Uh, total for the two week period was $7,131.99. That is uh, how much we spent in those two weeks. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe.